I took about two weeks ago. And what I did was uh, I put it out on Fruit Cycle that I was looking for fruit tree cuttings. Had a couple of offers. And I went to their place and found their fruit trees. And unfortunately, they didn't know what type of apples or pears that they had. But I did get pears, apples, and figs. And I just took a cutting, it's about eight inches long. Put them in a bottle of water, get the lid on, and put about an inch of water in there, and just kept them slightly out of the sun. Basically, it's uh, I, I kept them in the windowsill where it would stay cool. It would get a little bit of sun, but not too much to really do any damage. I don't know if it's uh, if too much sun was good or not enough sun, but I just it was lightly sunny. So, so I've got these cuttings in here, and I've got nine of them. This is, red apple, they didn't know what brand it was or what type of apple it was. This is a, oh, I did get a grape, grape concord, and he knew exactly what type of grape it was. Okay. And reddish apple, <laughs> we couldn't tell, but it was a reddish color, so maybe it was more of a pink apple, I don't know. And this is a greenish apple. Actually, we weren't too sure. He thought it was Bartlett Pear, so I put Bartlett question mark pear. So I kept using these bottles for a couple of weeks. Every couple of days, I would take off the lid, let a little fresh air come in, and today I'm going to transplant them into uh, transplant them into uh, buckets with soil and compost to see how well the, these cuttings take. This is apple. Pear. I'm seeing little buds little white spots on them which I was as I understand that that's a good thing it means that the rooting has started figs All right. and finally pear and we think this is an Asian pear so I'll transplant these and see if they take hopefully they will and I'll have to I'll keep them shaded not too much sun Okay, it's been about, uh, this is Finland Farm again. It's been about three weeks since I've transplanted all of these into um, compost, a little bit of uh, pine bark, uh, and it's just a tad bit of uh, perlite, but mostly it's compost. And I just wanted to give you an update on what's, how this went. Uh, I'd say this was a, almost a 50-50 uh, success rate. Unfortunately, I think I'm a little bit on the losing end. So let me just sh show you the, Let's show you the bad stuff first. Well, first of all, this is the figs. And when I transplanted these, a little bit of the bark, um, the skin of it, was coming off. So I think this got messed up. I probably left it in the water a little bit too long. So no budding, no branching, no leaves, no nothing off of these. So this was a failure. Okay. The grapes. Same thing. No budding, no nothing, but I was about ready to give up on this. And right down here, I don't know if you could see it, there's a little bit of purplish. So something does appear to be, or maybe, coming up from that. So I'm hoping, uh, I just noticed that today. So I was just about ready to give up on this one. And the other failure was this red apple here. I'm not seeing any leaves, no budding, no nothing off of this one. And then finally, this other apple. This is a reddish apple and they didn't know what type it is. I'm not seeing any kind of activity out of it. And then I think this one here, also nothing coming out of it. Um, I got this idea. Um, of how to do these by uh, another video off YouTube and if I can remember I'll post a link or put a link in here Basically you took some cuttings you put them in a bottle kept it sealed about an inch of water put a little bit of Sun keep it Keep it, you know uh, a Little bit of Sun a little bit of shade And after a couple of weeks you take it out and you put it in um, these pots compost whatever and uh, keep it moist, keep it shaded, 
and actually I this was pretty shaded and with a, a little bit of morning sunlight and I just moved them uh, a couple of days over a couple of days ago I moved them over here so they got a little bit more sun because Sorry about that. Hopefully it's not being really noisy. So let's take a look at the success. Pear. Look at this. Leaves are coming. So I'm really happy about this. I love pear and I'm looking forward to seeing these grow. And almost all of them except for I think three of them have leafed out. Another success is this one here. This, uh, this greenish apple. There's some leaves on all of them except one. This is another success. I believe this is the Bartlett question mark pair. And almost all of these have budded out and this one here just started budding out. So it's a late comer. And this one here, I've only had, oops, I just knocked over a leaf. Crap, hope I didn't destroy it. This is what I think is an Asian pear, and I was just about to give up on them, and then a couple of them have started budding out just within the past two days. You know, a little bud here, a little bud here, a little bud here. So about two of them have already started. Three of them. There's another one right here. Oh, that's good. Great. The more the better. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's the failures and successes. Um, I've enjoyed this experiment. Um, I'm looking forward to doing uh, more experiments with different types of trees. I've uh, put a note out on FreeCycle for some maple trees. I'd like to try to get some some sugar maples, some red maples. And, and if I do that, I'll definitely bring you along. So thank you for joining me here at Finland Farm today. It's starting to cool off, but the sun just came out a few minutes ago, and it's, it's actually quite nice. I wish I could be outside, but I have to go to work. So anyway, y'all take care, and thank you for joining. Bye-bye.